welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. I dyed my hair bright ready pink. <laughs> I've been dyeing my hair lots of crazy colours lately. Today I'm going to make bath truffles. That's right, I love bath truffles. They make your bath water super creamy. So come along with me and I'll show you how I make them. Squee! In this jug we've got cocoa butter, olive oil, sweet almond oil and coconut oil. And in this jug, we've got our powders, baking soda, citric acid, a little bit of SLSA, and kale and clay. Now I've melted all the butters, mm, yum, and I'm going to start mixing them with my little hand mixer here, as I add the powders a little bit at a time. This way I can add just the right amount, not too much and I find that it helps me to get just the right consistency for piping. This is one of the things I have found the most difficult about these little bath truffles, is getting them just right so that I can actually pipe them with my piping bag. Sometimes it works brilliantly and sometimes it doesn't. So I've added my entire powder phase here and it's still too runny. So I've just gotten a little bit more baking soda, this is just baking soda now. And I'm just adding enough of it to bring it all to the right consistency. And whoops, look, I've added a little bit too much. <laughs> and my jug's getting away from me too. It's spitting around. But I still need to add my fragrance, which is L'Occitane Verbena. A beautiful lemony limey scent, which I love. And I'm just going to keep adding a little bit more and a little bit more and keep mixing. Woohoohoo, my jug is spinning out of control. <laughs> And then I still find that once I've added all the fragrance that there's still a little bit of a lumpy texture going on. So I'm going to get another oil. I'm just going to get some sunflower oil, which I have on hand. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit, like maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons. And just enough to hopefully bring it back to the consistency that I'm looking for. Ah, oh, that looks much better, doesn't it? So this is a little bit of a um, lesson for you watching. It's not something that I measure out or something that I can tell you exactly how much of this and exactly how much of that to add. It's definitely up to your discretion until you reach the right consistency. So now I'm trying to just tattoo my camera and get it so you can see me piping into my little nut cups. Whoops, I knocked that one over. <laughs> Got some on the bench. I guess I'll just have to use that in my own bath. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> So I just pipe directly into the nut cups and then I let them firm up and then once they're firmed up I can wrap them with a little bit of cellophane and a little bit of curling ribbon, put my sticker on that tells you what's in it and how to use it and I'm good to go. And these are just little tiny, they're just enough for one bath so I just sell them for $3 each. It's a great little stocking stuffer for Christmas or just a good little extra thing to give away when someone buys a bulk lot of soap and you want to give them a little bit of something extra. I ended up making a bunch more than I normally would this year because I was actually going to be giving a whole bunch of them to my daughter's school and to my son's kindies teachers. So they all got a bath truffle and a soap and a lip balm as well from Star Soaps this year to say thank you for all their hard work. Super cool. Now I'm just realising as I say this that this video might not go up until 2017. So just so you know I made these right at the end of December in 2016. And with my upload schedule, I can't always get things up as quick as I might like. But that's how I keep awesome content coming to you guys every week. And over Christmas, I was giving you guys more than every week because, you know, I love you. So that's a little bit of green mica that's now been dribbled on. That was just mixed in olive oil. And I just did a little dribble on each one with the pipette to give them a bit of colour. And finally, a sprinkling of glitter. Because you, we all know a sprinkling of glitter makes everything better. Squee! <laughs> So here are the final bath truffles. They smell amazing, they look amazing, and boy do they work amazing. They give your bath this very luxurious, creamy, almost milky feel when you soak in it and it leaves your skin feeling heavenly. This week I would like to highlight Christina Castillo and her beautiful bath bomb cupcakes that she's piped that bath truffle mix I just showed you on the very top. And they look amazing. She shared her picture with us in the Star Soaps family group over on Facebook. So if you'd like your picture to be highlighted, then please come along and share them with me. I'm running out of pictures and I love to highlight you guys. You inspire me just as much as I inspire you. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching me make these bass truffles. And if you did and you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Feel like stars, so if you need love in the driest area, remember the soap that can make you merrier. Star soap, star You won't find another soap that makes your body feel like star soap. If you need love in the driest area, remember the soap that can make you merrier. Star soaps, star soaps, star soaps, star soaps. Star soaps, star soaps, made with love and the finest ingredients. They make you feel like the queen of the world. When you wash your body, you feel good. And you know, know that you could be the best that you can think because you've got the best.